what you had was a 2040 I'm putting a 4060 in there's going to give more pressure flux what the flux does is when you heat it up it pulls the solder in you need the flux you need the flux switch <clears throat> I'll probably put the switch here <clears throat> it's a 4060 you'll see inside the cover the pressure
be fine right there. No nipple. These will get blocked sometimes with wood rust and sediment. Just gonna make sure that this is gonna reach. Yeah, this will reach on this side too. side maybe because when the door is in you'll be able to see the gauge better Put this one on the outside. See, and this is braided wire. I'm better off with these connectors on here. I'll make a better job. Better connection. Gotta be connected, connected, connected. <clears throat> That's good. We gotta be connected, connected, connected. So I got white to white and then black to black. Make sure these are all nice and tight. It's always good to double check it, you know, give it a little time and then double check it, make sure it's tight. If it's not tight, it could heat up and cook the wire. I want to break it, but I want it tight. All right, so that's a 4060, 
and the tank temperature, the tank pressure is um, 37, a couple PSI lower than the low setting, that's what we want. They make a 75, and they make a 100. This one's a 100. Um, they're a little cheaper than the 75, so that's why I buy them. The yellow tank didn't even have a relief valve on gauge and a boiler drain that's it we're done now there's a door that goes in here so that's why I wanted the gauge on this side In the drain. That's it. thing. I don't know why they put it on there, but all right, so we're coming in from the well. Going through the check valve. We're gonna make sure you put that in there right. Goes into the tank. There's 38, 38 pounds on pressure. This is a 4060 switch. So we'll push all the water out before the pump kicks on. The air will push all the water out that hold, goes in this holding tank. We get a gauge, um, drain, and a relief valve. And we come up to a shut off there. Here's the little switch, was a 3050. Can I look right inside there, I'll tell you what it is. That was a 3050. But I went with a 4060, give them a little bit more pressure. Pump up to 60 and then shut off. I just gotta make sure that no leaks. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hello? Hello? Yeah. You want to run the tub? Yeah. Just turn on the tub. Go ahead and just turn the tub on cold and let it run. I want to see how it works. Oh, okay, so what turn, do you need me to do? Turn on the tub on cold and just leave it on. Okay. I want to cycle through a, through a system. Okay. I want to cycle it through and make sure it's working properly. Okay. Yeah, just turn it on cold. It'll uh, drop down to 40. It'll drop down to 40, then it'll kick in and pump back up to 60. And what's going to happen is um, the air is going to push all the water out in the tank before it kicks on, before it was short cycling. Tank was uh, diaphragm was bad in the tank. All right, here he goes. So it's gonna drain down to forty before the pump kicks in. He's running the top. This way here the pump won't, won't kill his pump before it was running all the time and burn it right out. Should be kicking in right around 40. So basically what's happening is all the, the air is pushing all the water out in this tank. So you're using this stored water as a buffer. Here it goes, just kicked in. It's working perfectly. Now it should pump up to 60 and then shut off. It's working right now. See how it's building pressure. The tub's running, so it'll build up to 60 and it'll shut off and it'll glide between 40 and 60 before the pump kicks on at 40 and off at 60. It's perfect. I just put the date on the tank and then I'm done. That's good. That's fine. Oh, you can shut it off. All right, so that's it. All done. Door shut. Guys, there's a two footer on there to get this thing off of here. I'm gonna save the, get the brass out of there. Uh, look at the shit in there. Wow. I mean, that's blocked. Yeehaw. I wonder why it wouldn't drain. Look at this stuff in there. I mean, the thing is, the thing is blocked. Look at the shit in there. Oh man, only a neck level. She's neck level. I mean, that thing is full. More for the junk weight. I just wanted to get the brass out of there so I could, uh, you know, throw that in my brass barrel. Let's see if I can find something to give it a little poke job. Give it a little poke job. See if we can clean it out. See what? <laughs> All right, that thing is. Man, that thing had a lot of stuff in there. Anyway. Pretty gnarly. I mean, that thing's pretty heavy. Oh, it is a top diaphragm. It's probably got water in it still. But anyway, it's going, in the, it's going in the jar. The more weight, the better for me. My scrap trailer here, I got this thing 
this ramp down here and I'm just I'm filling it with, with scrap, you know? All kinds of stuff. Once it's full, I take it to the dump. Water heaters and furnaces, air conditioning units, stuff like that, you know? I got a condenser and an A-coil after to strip down, get it in there, but that's what that's for.